and welcome back to Truth Be Told Transformations. This is going to be a special manifestation reading because today is a very lucky day. Um, this is going to be for air signs. Welcome back subscribers, new and old. New subscribers, welcome to the family. Thank you guys for everything that you do, liking, commenting, um, be just being here. I appreciate you allowing me your energy and to share this space with me so we can all learn and grow to heal together, right? So today, April 11th, is the luckiest day of the year, according to many astrologists. And I also saw that actually tomorrow is a good day for manifesting as well, if you can't get to it today, okay? It's called the Kazemi. It occurs when two planets connect to the, at the same degree. In this case, Jupiter, which is the expanse, is about expansion, boundary, or sorry, expansive, it's boundless, and it's a very lucky planet. It will be um, straight in alignment with the sun, okay? And the sun's going to radiate these feelings down to us or whatever. So what are we manifest? So today is a good day to manifest and set your intentions for the future. So let's say today with the tarot, um, what the tarot says will be good for you to manifest by your sign during the luckiest day of the year. Okay. And also tomorrow is good for manifesting as well. If you don't get to it today, but try to do it today. Okay. So, um, for all signs, I did pull a prayer card for those of you like those. On the, oh, I just looked at the back. It says, encourage one another, build each other up. Thessalonians 3.41 and the Lord will bless you and keep you number 624. Um, so this is going to be first we'll start with um, the sign of Aquarius. I'm just going to go in order. And then we'll do Gemini and then Libra. Okay. Let's get you guys on Mandela. We were already prayed up today. Before we do this, though, let me go ahead and say my invocation prayer. One of them. Okay. Angels and spirit guides. Invocation. Okay. At this time, I ask that we be surrounded with divine white light, with each of our highest, best, most loving possible guides and angels of love, light, and healing who can mist serve us now. Please come in, lift us in vibration, assist us in quiet our minds, opening our hearts to tune into knowledge, wisdom, and truth. I now call on the highest, best, most loving possible guides and angels of light who can serve us now. Please come in, connect, and channel through me now. We cast out all tricksters and all false messages. Let these messages be of love, light, truth. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the most high God, angels, and spirit guides of the highest light and vibration of love, light for assisting me in channeling these messages for the collective. Please give me the words to best serve the collective. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So it is. Okay. All right, guys. This is going to be again for Aquarius. What mandala is Aquarius working with for this? Um, A Kazemi for this Kazemi, the luckiest day of the year for the manifestations. Again, Aquarius. Okay, so you have one. You're working on your self esteem. Maybe you're um, going to be manifesting more to have more self esteem, okay? And letting go of doubt. Alright, you can use these as affirmations to help bring this in. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others for self-esteem and for doubt i release the need to know all the answers and here's the mandala if you'd like to take your remain okay all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this i'm gonna use some oracles and tarot um get you guys some angel guidance and a healing frequency okay this is the yin yang oracle we're gonna ask what will the aquarius be bringing in or what's good for them to manifest at this time during the luckiest day of the year. Oh, nice. You're getting, you're going to be getting, you may be manifesting some clarity or, to, or for third eye upgrades or activations of your gifts. Well, you will be gaining clarity soon. This is also going to be the energy of what's coming, you know, um, in the coming days if it doesn't have to do with something you're manifesting or letting go of, okay? So you may be uh, manifesting a uh, solid foundation. You're forming your structure for a solid foundation. You could be dealing with Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. This is a fiery, passionate start. Um, a new start in something that you're very passionate about, that you care about. You're um, also releasing um, toxic patterns, okay? So you may be manifesting to um, release addictions or 
any type of toxic behavior we all have it right you're releasing a lack mindset release the past and suffering so you're bringing in a more abundant future you are taking off the rose colored glasses and seeing through illusions and confusion some of you may be manifesting a feminine or you could be feminine and notice how her powers are activated here so some of you may be getting upgrades at this time i do feel and some of you are manifesting a change and you're manifesting the courage to do something big right Aquarius, lucky day of the year manifestations. Okay, so I see some of you manifesting. You want this one billion dollar idea, or you want your idea to be taken off, or create the product, create the app, go viral. Because you guys, you know, deal with a lot of electronics. Some of you have been having bad dreams, and you're manifesting to have less stress in life, easier dreams, manifesting the calm, the zen, so to speak. Meditation will help you with that. Um, some of you are like re releasing depression, okay, letting go of paranoia and phobia. There is a death, so I do feel that some of you may be uh, manifesting a transition and something that, that you want to end in your life to have it rebirth to something new. So you may be wanting to go or daydreaming about going on a vacation. Maybe you're going to manifest this uh, island vacation, right? So you may be going back to school and manifesting the money or something or like how to do it, like have all expenses paid or what, or manifesting the perfect training or maybe you're going to be the trainer or the teacher because um, you have a lot of experience. Some of you may be developing a uh, learning app, I heard. I don't know. Like I said, some of you maybe you're... Um, releasing toxic habits maybe you wanting to eat better quitting addicting behaviors you know they come in all shapes and forms it's a very lucky period for you to play the lottery play a game of chance bingo um slot machines okay some of you are manifesting to hit your goal maybe you're a self person and you will hit that goal you do need to relax the rest and relax um maybe you're manifesting like i said some relaxation time some time off be careful of accidents okay um i do see you guys trip over your own two feet sometimes. Some of you may be uh, manifesting an animal, a companion that you can trust or someone that you can trust, someone you can form an alliance with or work with, be a team member to build something together with. Some of you may be manifesting a new car. Mm -mm. Reservation, but like you feel like you don't deserve it. Know that you do deserve it, okay? pick these up and we'll get some tarot and angel tarot out here thanks though for hanging with me guys i really appreciate each and every one of you i do have an amazing new deck coming tomorrow i'm really excited um to share it with you guys so make sure you check out the readings all right you're man you're definitely doing a lot of healing work and it's showing i do feel like it's a happy period for you even though it's come on kind of slow this is the happiest card in the deck to go along with the luckiest day of the year. I think that's pretty good. Some of you may be manifesting a baby. Um, know that if you do get pregnant and have babies during this time, they will definitely be spirit babies. Uh, have many gifts and abilities, okay? They're not going to be your normal children. Like, you know, what I mean by that, every child is special and perfect. But what I mean by that is they will be born uh, in tune. They may have past life memories, things of that nature. So you are definitely releasing toxic behavior. You could be dealing with Capricorn as well. You're coming, um, you're walking away from toxic behavior, toxic people, toxic patterns, releasing the cords that bind you. This is amazing here, Aquarius. I also see for you letting go of a lack mindset. Okay, feeling that you don't deserve. Someone's being very sneaky though in your energy. You need to be aware of this, okay? Um, I feel a jealous energy here. They don't want you to have any movement because it flipped out in the reverse, but I feel like you're going to keep moving and pushing forward no matter what. You're building a solid foundation with someone you can be man manifesting to, build, to do this with a partner. It doesn't have to be a solid foundation for your family. Um, I'm getting very much soulmate energy here. With a passionate new start in life, okay, with the Ace of Wands. 
So men of you are manifesting no more backstabbing or betrayal. Just make sure you set your boundaries and keep them strong. I also see you, um, your harvest, you're watching your harvest, you're, you're, you're watering it and nurturing it, okay? So make sure you speak your manifesta manifestations with pure intentions. Also, guys, drop down below something you're wanting to manifest, um, and I can help you with that once I get, like, 5 to 10 with each. I'll have four videos out for, um, you know, each group of signs. Once I get, um... Five to ten of those, I'm going to actually do a manifestation video. I will actually put it on Bay Leafs. Um, you can put your name or initials or whatever below. Um, I might do it live. I'm not sure yet. And I will do a mini reading for you guys too. That's just my thank you for being here. Um, so I see you're, you're might be manifesting that uh, somebody chooses you for something you're creating for the world. Okay. You might be doing something on the World Wide Web. Um, you're releasing a lot of pain and burdens. Maybe, uh, I've heard some of you maybe manifesting your garden grows big. I don't know. Maybe some of you are farmers. We have a star here. Energy is a death card. So, like, what I feel with this is there's a lot of healing energy. Something had to end so you could be transformed into something new. And your wishes, prayers, manifestations are being heard. You made a wish upon a star. This is coming in. This is, like, um, if you um, make your manifestation, like, wild, okay? Like, this is something that you're really, truly wanting to bring in, that you, no one can do it like you. Um, make sure it's detailed, stated as if it's already done, and you have to release your attachment to the outcome is what I'm getting, okay? Let me um, clarify these here real quick with some angel cards. The dreamer, you may be, this is like a dream. Some, you're supposed to manifest this or something today that is like far-fetched to a lot of people but today is the day for you to do it okay so take the big leap spirit saying trust and faith clarify the devil in reverse please spirit nine of fire okay so you are protected from harm you're very resilient the wounded warrior energy here be prepared for any possibility or any outcome okay this is eight of cups including the good ones you have a knight of water, a three of air, and the lovers. A lot of you are manifesting this true love. It is coming in for you if you are manifesting love or a uh, current relationship becoming closer and stronger. Um, Some of you might be trying to, trying to be dramatic uh, to throw your love life off track, so be aware of that. I do see deeply committed relationships or new beginnings when it comes to love. Someone wants uh, forgiveness. Uh, there's a healing energy here. Romantic and emotional feelings with the Eight of Cups. So somebody you walked away from is probably regretting some choices made is what I'm feeling here with that. I'm hearing invest now in yourself, okay? Six of air here. So you're going to calmer waters. You're moving on past the drama and the chaos. Moving into relief and hope. What's the Seven of Swords clarify, please? So there's an indecision and someone's trying to like be sneaky and avoid getting caught here um to trying to confuse you throw you off course but i feel like you're on to it or someone in your energy is so just pay attention listen to your intuition i do see a windfall coming to you uh you're going to gain clarity on something very soon you're a very generous person you know what you get what you give in life so because you've been so kind and courteous and giving to others and uh, throughout time or in this period, I do feel you're about to hit your lucky windfall. Clarify the Four of Wands. It was clarified by the Four of Earth. You could be seeing 4-4 four, four a lot. 44, 444, four, 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 the number 4. Um, you will see it in your reality here in the near future, I fear, and that's confirmation of this reading. So you are often a frugal person. Um... You're trying to hold on to something, though, that you may need to release. Be aware of that. Don't try to hold on too tightly to things. Remember the things that are meant for you will find you, and, you know, no matter the circumstances, no matter what, they'll always find you, okay? What's meant for you will simply find you and never leave you. And there's a 44 on this card, too, and I never noticed that until now. So, 4444, four, 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 or 444, or three fours. Um, release your control to the outcome. I see you living, uh, coming into an extravagant life money riches um out of nowhere and celebrating this okay with family and friends community you're a, you're a person that is well respected in the community some of you need to step up to be community leaders because the old system is falling and those that are corrupt are being taken out so if you're a person of integrity please you know stand up clarify this ace of wands angels 
I don't know what that was. Must have been the cat. Um, so we have a queen of earth. Some of you are manifesting your big business break to have a very successful business. Um, I see you being very gracious, very practical. You are very capable of this, okay? You will be successful in this business venture. Um, I see you being recognized for your hard work. Um, you just need to work on your self-esteem. You're being transformed at this time with a tower. This tower, however, is not a bad tower. This is a sudden realization. This is going to lead you to liberation and life change. Um, this is going to transform you and your life and the life of your loved ones. I feel like this is a major money, like a major amount of money coming in for you. Uh, as long as you're on the up and up, you know, um, you get what you give. Clarify this ten of swords. So someone from the past, the person that kept stabbing me in the back is definitely someone from your past, your childhood, somebody you grew up with, uh, an ex possibly. Um, someone's going through memories, looking at a lot of the nostalgia in childhood, and they have a, you may, you may find a feather on your path here in the near future. This feather here is white, which usually means your angels are visiting you. Um, however, any feather in your path is a sign of good luck, okay? And I feel like that means your angels or loved ones near, depending on the color of the feather. Clarify this two of wands. You have a knight of earth and the three of fire. So your ships are coming, sailed in. Make sure you're organized, um staying organized and responsible you support a lot of other people you're going to be supported during this time your goals are in vision your ships are about to sell in so to speak okay i feel like you got something you're doing on the world wide web um or a product you're creating or uh something is going to either go viral or you're going to be recognized for something okay possibly you invent or create what's the star here you're shedding illusion dependency and materialism Speak your truth. You're very knowledgeable. Um, don't let anybody uh, tell you you can't have or shouldn't have or you don't belong somewhere or get you down in your... So I just feel like somebody's trying to throw you off your course, okay? Trying to confuse you. I had a bunch of cards here all jumbled up, which was really weird. Um, you may be up at night having a lot of worry, sleepless nights, a lot of worry, a lot of negativity, bad dreams. Um, just release them. You can call upon God, your angels, whatever you believe in to help you with that. You're releasing ego, dependency, and materialism. And because of that, when you, as you speak your truth and speak your knowledge and um, I feel that that's when the world comes in for you. This is accomplishment, celebration, completion, success, closing out old cycles. You're about to be on a very lucky cycle period. I do feel Aquarius. Um, the Eight of Earth, for you are a very hard worker. Even if it hurts, you still work. I see you maybe going back to school, taking classes, or even teaching a class. You're very focused on learning, earn something. You like to learn. And you're ending with your own card, the Star card here. Like I said, you've got the Star twice. You've got two major wishes coming in, two major manifestations. Your wishes, prayers are being heard by the Divine. Something you wished upon a star on, or maybe on a birthday. Uh, an eyelash or a candle something is coming true you've been manifesting i feel two major things and tenant earth is here you are building generational wealth i do feel a grandfather energy is near you they were very loyal could have been in the military um they're very, they were very traditional i do feel that they are helping bring prosperity and security to you and your loved ones and family there's the wish card right here so make a wish when you manifest your your dreams can very well come true today this is a very lucky time for you so make sure that you do definitely manifest today just write it out detailed write it in i have make it detailed and believe it okay you can um just write it out you can put it on top put it like a, a glass of water or a bottle of water on top of it read the affirmations with the bottle of water on it for a little bit and then drink the water you can light a candle, say your affirmation. You can do it many different ways. Just write it out and state it, okay? What healing frequency does Aquarius need? We have Listen to Life. These are affirmations you can use to help bring this into your energy. I am attentive to the world around me. Signs and symbols guide me to success. I listen and discover the way of the eternal. That's your healing frequency. Let's get you an angel message for guidance. Angel message of guidance for Aquarius, please. We have make the most of it. Make use of your time and all resources. Look for more knowledge or appliance. 
learn from the mistakes and also from others to build up more skills and confidence, okay? So you're definitely gonna be building up your skills and confidence at this time. You have what it takes to succeed. I believe in you, Aquarius. You can do it. You can do it. Put your ass into it. Oh. Sorry about that. That's my. If you heard that, that was my boyfriend. He's fell asleep. So I'm working hard. And he's a very loud snorer. I'm sorry. And I can't edit it out. I, anyways, so I'm probably gonna finish up the signs here and close this out, and then I will be back later the other signs. I'm hoping y'all didn't hear it. <laughs> Gotta love them. Alright. Oh, I forgot to pull your tea leaves. Let me pull you guys some tea leaves real quick. Tea leaves for Aquarius. Tea leaves for Aquarius. For the luckiest day of the year and energy around it. These are some things that could be that could be coming in for you. Remember, this is a general message. Take it resonates. Leave what doesn't. If it does come into your reality, let me know. You have the heart. You have great happiness. Broken bridge. There may be an unsuccessful uh, outcome to a problem. You have the cat. You have a two-faced friend. Could also be a family member or someone in your energy. Beagle. You will triumph triumph over these pr troubles. And I heard this two-faced friend is the broken bridge. Their problems. They will not be able to overcome them. Um, honor and respect will come to you with the crown. You're in your wealth of your astral house. The rabbit is here. Someone has too much concern with sexual matters. And the seahorse. There are going to be some family matters. I do feel that it may be someone linked in these family matters that is two-faced. Um, and it's, they're going to be unsuccessful. So go ahead and worry about it too much. Don't get too stressed out about it. Okay, Aquarius? Give me just a second. All right, let's go to Gemini. And Gemini Bible verse today is encourage one another and build each other up, which is the First Thessalonians three verse three through fourteen. Let's get you a healing mandala for Aquarius for this special manifestation period on the luckiest day. You're letting go of envy and regret. What else? Gemini, did I say Aquarius again? Oh, and you're a lot of you may be manifesting love, like true love, uh, like agape love, like God loves us like agape. Agape is like the most amazing love you'll ever know. It's unconditional, right? So you're releasing envy. You can use this for an affirmation. I am the same <clears throat> as everybody, but with different challenges. You have what it takes to succeed. Don't be envious of anybody. We all have special talents and abilities. We can all do it, okay? Um, for regrets, somebody regrets being envious of you. I do feel, I feel like it's a jealousy because they want to be you is what I'm getting here. I know that I cannot change the past with regrets and with love we have, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So love, you're manifesting love. Spirit. Angels of the light, spirit guides of the light, guardian angels, ancestors of the light, please tell me what Gemini is bringing in with this luckiest manifestation day of the year, luckiest day of the year, what are they manifesting? Make sure you write your guys' manifestations down. Some of you want the truth. You are being unapologetically you or you want the truth from someone else and you want them to express their truth. You're letting go of uh, fragmented pieces of your soul. Letting go of fear, loss, and rejection. Some of you are, are um, getting closer with, maybe getting closer with someone else because that card was distance and it wasn't flew out in the reverse. It says retreat or timeout. So some of you may need a timeout. You may be rejoining the uh, the crowd or the group or society after taking a timeout, going into hermit mode, so to speak, as we call it in tarot. Some of you are manifesting. With your intent, make sure you're st stating clear intentions to manifest. You're manifesting a creation, something that you create with love. Okay, you're also working on your own self love. Trust in divine timing that these manifestations that are coming. Okay, they are coming, so just trust in this divine timing. Is what divine saying? Someone is trying to put some control tactics on you. 
to be aware of that. Work on your self-care energy. This person that is trying to uh, use control factors, they're in disharmony. They're very conflicted. They're giving in to limitation and fears, and I feel like you're releasing these things. At least if you're aligning with this channel, you, you are not clinging to yourself and like this person, okay? Just be aware of projection from them is what I'm getting overall. Okay, let's go to another deck. What could Aquarius be manifesting? I heard some of you want to go to the... Oh, sorry, not Aquarius. Gemini. Maybe dealing with an Aquarius. Maybe manifesting going to the beach or a tropical island, taking a cruise. I'm getting, like, vacation near water for a lot of you guys. I feel that energy. Gemini manifesting with the fluffiest day of the year. What could be coming for them soon? A lot of you are overloaded. Some of you are lonely. Some of you may be releasing sickness, releasing loneliness. Some of you are getting manifesting justice. Some of you feel very overloaded, overworked, and underpaid. Some of you may be creating your own business. Some of you are letting go of your ego and pride. It's okay to be proud of yourself, just, you know, with that balance, right? Be aware that somebody may be trying to bribe somebody or bribe you or persuade you to do something that they want to do, okay? Or for something to go their way. Some of you are saving up, manifesting a lot of savings, enough savings, like, to where you can live debt-free and just relax the rest of your life. Rich, like, retirement, generational wealth. Somebody does know that you are saving money. Um, be aware that people want to come in and steal your joy. I see you being generous and giving to others. Um, you have a high morale. A very good character. You generally like are peaceful and help others. You're planting seeds of wealth and investments. Uh, you're very trustworthy. I do feel like this will come to fruition. Some of you could also be growing a garden and wanting manifesting like a healthier lifestyle. Some of you are manifesting a good marriage, a stable marriage, or a better marriage. Fate is here. Some of you may be going to visit a reader soon. Make sure they're reputable, please. Okay. Um, nothing happens by coincidence. It's by fate. Some of you may be a reader and manifesting your spiritual abilities to uh, enhance, okay? I do see you hitting your goals. Some of you are manifesting a certain goal. Could be a sales goal. Could be... I see, feel like you're going to exceed all these goals, okay? Got a couple more cards out here. Some, people are manif some of you are manifesting a night out with indulgence with your friends, hanging out. Um... I see some of you want to pro are manifesting a promise ring or engagement ring and or a wedding. Some of you are manifesting to build an online community or a group that helps you, follows you. Um, I also see here you're, some of you are manifesting gifts. This could be spiritual gifts or actual physical gifts, okay? A promotion. I do see that. Somebody is, God is reaching in to help you, okay, with these manifestations. So make sure you are manifesting today or at least tomorrow. Today is the luckiest day of the year, but it's also the energy is good tomorrow from what I saw earlier on the astrology website. So let's get you guys some regular tarot. Let me hold this again. You're very fiery and passionate about something. I do feel like you're a leader or you're meant to be a leader, okay? Gemini. Some of you are manifesting a soulmate. Manifesting a create. You're also in your creative energy. You're trying to create something, something different than everybody else. Some of you are manifesting to be the actual empress, the queen, the queen shit, right? That's what I heard. Um, some of you are thinking about the past or manifesting the past back. Be aware though, make sure it's not, you don't have a color glasses on, okay? But to, from, a, yeah, it was, there was a breakup and someone's manifesting their ex back to the in Gemini energy or a Gemini or has Gemini somewhere in their chart. This person really hurt you though. Um, I heard the snake bite, will bite itself. I feel wise trickery to see somebody very sneaky. You do have a new love coming in, so manifest uh, the best love for you, okay? Waters may be turbulent, though, because this card was upside down, but I do feel spirit will take you to calmer water soon. There's a king of cups energy here with the empress. Some of you are manifesting um, money. 
don't hold on too tightly to it. Like, donate, even if it's a dollar, okay? Because, you know, money is an energy, okay? Um, some of you may be manifesting your kids get a job, move out. Uh, maybe they're manifesting chore money. <laughs> some of you may want to take a hunting trip or a safari. I don't know. Put it where it resonates. A lot of you are manifesting stability, building a new home, moving to a new home. Would be a good time for that for you guys. Some of your spiritual leaders meant to be seen and heard. Okay, um, you're moving to take away. Some of you are truth seekers and finding out the truth and uncovering the corruption uh, all over the world because you are the high priestess. You have ancient secret knowledge. You can manifest what you want and it is a good time for you to do so. There is a tower here. What is this tower? Judgment. Someone's getting judgment cast upon them uh, because of the choice that they've made. There's many choices. So only you know the right choice. Choose the choice that's right for you. And then which card is in the reverse? So whoever this is that's thinking bad thoughts, casting bad hate, jealousy, image, or whether that's you or the opposition, you know, where you stand, you could be cross-watching. Um, I heard black magic, dark magic. I'm getting a very dark energy here. Uh, it was returned to sender by the divine, and this person was protected. You should have never done that, and... Something will be taken. Whoever that is. Um, I, don't, I don't know if the person will even see the video. But I was told to say that. So I did. Um, but somebody. It, it's because they're jealous of love. Be careful of this ex. They could be manifesting a fight for love for you. Okay. Because they know. They feel a new love energy coming in. Which I felt this energy on my channel. Somebody might have manifested sickness or death. So that's why we got the illness card earlier. Yeah, because they're very passionate about someone and they want to be the king and queen of wands again. Very passionate couple, okay? Chemistry. Um, they want to have the world in the palm of their hand, so we're creating heaven on earth and the snake is going to bite itself, is what I was told here. Okay. Your attorneys. Spirit spins my cards for me. In these decks, anyways. Spirit keeps saying you get what you give. So if you put out bad intentions or ill will or bad thoughts, then and and you know things are speeding up with our manifestation. So things are coming in a lot quicker, especially karma, angels. So somebody here is very creative, and they need to be more enthusiastic and get motivated because and take the leap of faith into the unknown for justice. You're protected. Okay. You could be protecting children, yours or others. Someone has stabbed you, and somebody here in the back, this is, you're in the recovery period, you're spree now, this is an end. There's a king of fire here, you're a very inspirational person, your story can help many others, you're very charismatic. I do see you being a parent, typically you could be a mother is the card I have here, you could be a father as well, or a pet parent. You're very loving, giving, and psychic. You could be, you would make a good counselor teacher psychic just nurture your gifts okay so plant the seeds here with the two of fire decide what manifestations you want plant your seeds speak it into fruition get very detailed about it i see you guys some a lot of you guys are manifesting progress with a partnership um it could be work or it could be love take it where it resonates and your ships are coming in selling coming about to sell in your goals are you're about to your goals are about to expand Okay, you're about to have an expansion uh, in, in your goals in life. So, like, money, work, abundance is what I'm feeling here for you. Let's get you a healing frequency. Healing frequency, please, for my Geminis. For the lucky state of the year. Gemini, Gemini. You have joy and goodness. These are affirmations you can use if you would like. They will help you... Um, heal the frequency and get to the, you know, raise your vibration. For goodness, I overcome my imperfections. I polish my character and feed on the positive. Thus, I free myself, allow my goodness to manifest, and become a source of joy. Through gentleness, I offer unconditional support, understanding, and love to myself and others. Okay, and for joy, life, it, like a child, I discover joy in the simplicity of life. Happiness lies in magical moments, not in the material. Even the smallest joy is a great source of light. 
Let's get you some angel guidance. We're just going to get one card here. Angel guidance, please. One card for my Geminis. All white, sun, moon, rising. So check out your sun, moon, and your rising if you know what those are. If these are not resonating, if this one doesn't resonate with you. Okay. Decide. Overanalyzing options steal you away from the present moment. You have the power to decide today, here and now. What will you gain is clarity and new chances. Okay. So you need to make a decision and then manifest it is what I'm getting with that. All right. All right. Excuse me just a second while I hit this. And then we're going to do the sign of Libra. Wait. I keep forgetting these. I'm going to have to move them. I keep forgetting your guys' tea leaves. So hold on just a second. Sorry. This is Gemini's tea leaves. Gemini tea leaves for Gemini. Oops. You have an ant. You're working hard. You're an overachiever. You're going to achieve success. You have news on its way. It could be about work. Someone is going out of your life or the end of a situation with a casket. The scissors is also here. You may have disappointment in some affair. This could also be your ops. Firecracker. You have excitement. Crib. Their birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Birth. So when I earlier I was talking about somebody did want children. Yeah, I do all, um, mice is here. Discord among friends or family. And that could be the excitement. Or it could also be the birth. Boot. You haven't increased your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. One more, please. And cracked cup. Someone has a dissatisfaction with life. And that's why they're trying to cause this discord among friends or family is what I'm getting there. Okay. So I hope this information helps you. Some of you could be dealing with a younger man as well. Let me get you guys some more information out here. All right, sorry, let me clear the energy. All right, Spirit, we are now on Libra. Hi, Libra. This is like this day of the year. Let's see what you could be manifesting or what's a great, a good thing for you to manifest right now if you're unsure of what to manifest. What is he so to be manifesting? What is he coming in for your manifestations? Okay, where it resonates, bling. So some of you are letting go of bling. You can use in your overcoming adversity, okay? So your affirmation for blame is, I accept responsibility for my well-being for adversity. I accept the challenges that are, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So that's awesome. Yeah, you're you're going to be the change for adversity. Um, so a lot of you Libras here, which you're signing, I was actually in Tarot ju the Justice card, so that makes sense. What could Libras be bringing in for the luckiest day of the year? Are there manifestations soon? What should they manifest? Some of you are manifesting an eternal love, a love that you actually grow old with. I'm hearing a copy love, like unconditional, true, unconditional love. If you're ready for an adventure, some of you are wanting to take an adventurous trip. Could be to a theme park, could be climbing mountains, could be to a beach. Um, there's something here that you're blind to. Somebody is hiding evidence and trying to set a trap, but you're blind to it, so be aware of that at this time. That's just a side warning. I don't feel it will work because the trap came out in reverse and evidence came out in reverse. So be aware, keep your eyes open, listen to your gut, okay, Libra? Libra, please. Somebody may try to bribe or persuade you or tempt you to go with them, go along with them, follow them. You could be feeling lonely, uh, having nightmares, or someone is. Um, this is a projection of someone else sending you negative energy. Do an egg cleanse, clear your energy, smoke cleanse, keep up with your spiritual hygiene. You could be overloaded and stressed. So you're manifesting that this ends, that God's reaching in to help you. I just heard your adversaries will pay. Some of you are um, having a lot of nostalgia going through memories. This is someone I feel from your past that could be wanting. They broke a promise to you and they miss you and know they fucked up. This person is going to have an accident because they wish that upon you. Okay? Because now is not the time to play. Like, I don't know if y'all realize that karma's coming a lot quicker. And especially if you are like me, prayed up with the divine and your ancestors and angels. Like, if somebody messes with me, they get their karma. Sometimes it's pretty quick, often. And I don't wish that upon anybody. It's because, you know, I generally don't wish anybody bad. And I wish everybody... I really, truly do. Like, I, could, I don't know. I've never understood why people are so cool and mean honestly got me hurt a lot but yeah 
So you um, are living in your north node, your cosmic purpose, or you may be manifesting to find out what your purpose here is. A lot of you um, may be manifesting to be nurtured or, or compassionate at this time. Compassion in the world, to be nurtured, nurtured for your children, for yourself, put it where it resonates. Um, you're also working on manifesting, like, to have a better self-image, to believe in yourself, have higher self-esteem, know your self-worth, and working on knowing to expect you get what you give, like, to, to that you're worth getting what you respect, expect, and you know, it's okay to have expectations in relationship, it doesn't mean you're greedy or wrong, right? Friendships, family. You are being strengthened and empowered at this time by the sun, and it is aligned with Jupiter today for the, um... Like I said, for the uh, luckiest day of the year, you're manifesting money, and I do feel that money is coming to you with the Ace of Earth. You, or you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Your spirit guides are assisting with bringing in this abundance. You could be getting a job, a raise, a promotion, going to a new job, starting your own business. Someone here is repressed with regret and they're partying to try to deal with their emotions. I feel like you finally learned that you deserve better. Right, some of you uh, are making to this, trying to make a final decision if like you want to fix things with this person or not. Listen to your gut. Remember what they put you through before. Okay, some of you are manifesting a better um, a home commitment or family. Like you want to build a family with somebody. You may have a family with this person I was speaking of as well. In the winter time, you were rebirth. Somebody needs to let go of their ego, vanity, and pride. I feel like it's this person that's in regret. They're, they didn't heal their inner child. I feel like you are working on healing your inner child. Um, you need to let your inner child out right now. It's very important. See you guys some tarot and angel. And angel tarot, okay? Remember, this is a general message. It's not going to take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Some of you may be manifesting to go to the beach, swim with dolphins, like tropical vacation. Hawks are messengers at this time. You see hawks or dolphins. It's confirmation of the reading, okay? Ooh, goodness, Libra. You had one card. You, a lot of you are going within and healing, or you're spending time, like, you're not wanting to be in a crowd. You're searching for the light. The light is within, okay? You're very wise. Go within. You'll find the God light within, source within, Christ consciousness. Um, a lot of healing energy. Some of you are healing relationships with your mother. Maybe you're healing relationships with your children. Manifesting that you are a good mom. You are. Okay. Some of you are manifesting a new relation, a love relationship if it's not family. Could be with the King of Cups energy, which is an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you are going to get a raise, promotion. You're manifesting a new job. You're letting go of a lack mentality with the five of coins in reverse. Make sure that you set your boundaries strong and keep cutting people, places, and things out of your life that do not belong. However, I also feel here that there is a Queen of Swords energy in the energy of this King of Coins. So, some of you do have a partner that may not be faithful. Just be aware of that. Yeah, they're bound to the devil, drinking toxicity, cheating, things of that nature. Take it where it resonates. Even working hard on your stability. There is an Emperor here that does want to come in for some of you. Take it where it resonates, okay? You can flip the genders. So some of you may be manifesting your true love or your emperor spirit saying be strong, okay? Some of you might be going to the zoo soon or manifesting a trip with your children to the zoo. And there's that nice sword. Something's coming in very fast. So you're looking at your manifestations, what your wishes you're wanting to come true, right? And you're watering and nurturing your garden, um, fertilizing it. And those manifestations will come. You may actually have a physical garden. I feel it'll be very abundant this year. Um, but... Spirit saying that these goals are coming in soon. You are going to calmer waters. Pay attention though. I do feel someone is backstabbing. There's a, for some of you, there is another, there's a third party situation here. I can feel it in the energy. Sorry. Don't shoot the messenger. Justice is here though. You're the law, fairness, and karma. Somebody could be dealing with the law. There's a new opportunity here. Um, some of you are manifesting to have the create, sudden, like to get a creative idea or have a creative new start, or like to come up with this creative idea, um, or like, this could be like, content, this could be like, a class you're making, it could be anywhere, put it where it resonates, um, you're 
very smart, determined, and motivated. I can't care about the King of Cups. The King of Coins is clarified by the Ten of Earth, so money is looking good. You're working towards building generational wealth, prosperity, very secure home. You do have a grandfather energy is watching over you, as well as valid family members. You have a lot of family members watching over you, but this grandfather energy could have been in the military. Could be also a great grandfather. They liked dogs specifically. Yellow lab might be significant for some of you. Uh, farm. I don't know who that was for. Um, they are watching over you. You may also be getting money passed down through a will or inheritance or windfall. Um, some of you may be going back to school, manifesting that you can do this. Go back to school, right? You're very fo be focused to detail. It's time for some of you to take a class or a new hobby. I see a leadership. Some of you are meant to be leaders. Uh, you're working on your stability and structure and being more organized will help you. The emperor and empress came out together. Some of you are manifesting your divine soul partner. Look for that, the higher love reading I posted yesterday. I see a very creative energy here. That I do see spirit babies. When I say spirit babies, I mean babies born with gifts. These are like star children. Um, I do see abundance and somebody taking action towards this. Giving up this lack mentality. You're very worried about something, though. Don't worry. The money that you need will arrive in a magical way. Is what the spirit's telling me. Clarify this emperor. Be strong. Your true emperor is coming. If you got out of this abusive relationship, okay. Balance is coming. This about balance is about to be restored. Okay. Find your inner child. Play with children. That will help you bring that out. Um, this is also linked to your childhood trauma, and I feel like you're healing that. I see someone's made mistakes. Somebody here needs to reassess some facts. They maybe caught somebody's trying to cause some drama in your life. Get a sneaky ass energy, honestly. Yeah, you're self made. You're a very hard worker. Someone sees this and they don't want to part from you. They want to stay in your energy uh, instead of taking the. Oh, they're about to get hit with a tower. But, anyways, they want to stay in your energy uh, because they know you're independent, that you work hard. Um, and they can be like, yeah, they're about to get hit with a tower. They're about to get some karma doing this and the king of earth is wanting to come in this is very prosperous generous and successful time that you could be manifesting either someone that has money or you could be manifesting that you get that money for you okay put it where it resonates let's get you guys um because remember these are general messages i know i'm going kind of fast guys but my guys do speak fast um when i channel a lot of times uh it comes out like that and I apologize I get a new I got a new deck coming tomorrow like I said it's really a really good deck let me shuffle these a bit listen to your intuition it'll never steer you wrong I'm seeing that in the king pay attention to your health stress could be a concern this could cause health concerns for you at this time okay I do see money on its way to you prosperity and I see you making a deal a meeting with a stranger could be very important for some of you it could be that love that you seek that you're looking for if that resonates with you, it could also be a business deal or they could give you the information that you've been wanting or needing. Some of you, this is secret information, the answer, the clarity you've been looking for about what to do. Libra, please, for this lucky state of the year, what, what, what's good for them to be manifesting at this time or what is coming in. I see a great passion here. The tulip, somebody could give you flowers. They have great passion for you. Somebody likes you. Some of you, this is a secret admirer. You will receive a gift. Okay, the caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. The tankard. Celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Someone could also be an alcoholic and need to give that up. Put it where it resonates. I just got that side message from spirit. Or maybe trying to quit drinking the king. There it is again. Pay attention to your health. I feel stress is affecting you. The flute. Disappointment. A friend or lover. Can't make it up. The target. Goal oriented person. I feel like you're right on target. You're going to hit a goal. A woman is here. Dealings relationship with a woman. That could be that third party situation. Doesn't have to be. Put it where it resonates. Remember flip it. Switch it with genders and things. Okay. The dagger is here. Fear. Worry. Tense situations. Stepping into a new experience. There is a dark woman. There's definitely two women here. Of course, it doesn't have to be third party. Just put it where it resonates. But I do feel it in this energy. If you're working in your career at Astro House, a lot of you could be going back to school, taking classes, uh, working on getting a promotion raise, or moving to a new job or creating your own business. Haystack is here. You Karma. You will reap what you have sown. Hope it's good. The Quill. Get back to basics. A lot of you, that's growing your own food. Going back to what you know best. 
coming back to your roots, okay? Get you a healing frequency and an angel message, and I'll close this video out and move on to the next one. Thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate each and every one of you. I really do. Drop your manifestations down below, as I told everyone else. I will be doing a special manifestation, um, like I'll call in the angels, do prayer, um, and it will be a manifestation ritual, okay? Um, I will either do it on video, I will also do a mini reading for you. Um, if you, when I get like five to ten of them, that's when I'll do it. And this is just my thank you for you guys being here and helping me. So for your healing frequency, you have divine fruit. As I, this is an affirmation you can use. As I work to improve my, free myself, I strengthen my foundations. My intellect is light. My heart is warmth and my soul is strength. I am nurtured by the divine sun. The fruit I bear reflects my inner light. Okay, this is the healing frequency. Feel free to snapshot it, screenshot it, whatever if you like. And use that affirmation. Angel message, please, for Libra. Improve your health. Physical health is essential to remain a functional body. Detoxify your body and mind with healthier food. Do some breathing exercises and meditate more. And this is your guidance from the angels. I hope you take that seriously. Okay, Libra and whoever this is, I actually send you healing. If you have any certain health ailments and you would like some healing, especially specifically to what's going on, let me know and I'll make a video for you, okay? Don't cost anything. It's free. I'm just here to help. All right, guys. So thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate each and every one of you until we meet again.